My Hero Academia chapter 422 Izuku Midoriya Rising gave us an amazing chapter of our heroes all escorting Deku across the battlefield so he can save his energy to fight all for one. But we also got a huge tease that the Skycrawler aka Koichi Hamawari, the protagonist of the spin-off series My Hero Academia Vigilantes, will be making his grand return to the series in the All Out War as the US has declared war against All for One. Let's break down this huge reveal. Now, throughout the entire chapter, Deku is being escorted by the other heroes across the battlefield, with them all clearing a path for him as All for One sends out a ton of attacks to try and stop them, while also gearing up for his full release of all quirk factors, the same move he used against Bakugo during their fight. Here we get some neat cameos, the second year student Mawata Fuwa, who made her appearance during the PLF war arc, as well as Melissa Shield and Rodi Soul from the Two Heroes and World Heroes Mission movies, respectively. The President of the United States even makes a cameo watching the war inspired by our heroes not giving up, declaring war on All for One by ordering all of their heroes to be sent to Japan, more on that later. All Might calls back to the very first chapter of Deku inspiring him to take action, thus becoming his greatest hero, and even Inko is seen cheering on her son, which also acts as a reference to the first chapter as well, since this is pretty much her saying, you can do it, which is exactly what Izuku had always wanted his mom to say to him in support of his dreams of becoming a hero. The chapter ends with Deku finally reaching all for one, landing a blow on his chest as if it was the like button on this video. Again, this chapter was amazing and despite Deku not having a lot of lines in the chapter itself, I think it was more of Deku rising to becoming that hero that everyone will recognize as everyone including the ones who doubted him like his mother and those in the crowd at UA are finally cheering him on recognizing him as a hero, rising to that status of a hero. But like I said earlier, in the chapter, the President of the United States makes an order to send all of their heroes to Japan to aid our heroes, declaring war on all for one, teasing the return of Koichi Hamawari, the protagonist of the My Hero Academia spinoff series, Vigilantes. Now, for those who don't know or need a refresher of the end of Vigilantes, which by the way, you should read Vigilantes if you haven't yet, at the end of the series, after defeating number six due to Koichi not being an official licensed hero he was set to be punished by the law as he was operating as a vigilante and in this day and age vigilantes are illegal and are looked at as villains as a way to bypass this Tsukuchi's sister Makoto came up with a plan to make it seem like that the crawler was employed by the American hero Captain Celebrity the entire time he's been seen doing vigilante work during during the series. Under the Captain Celebrity Corporation, Koichi became an official hero under the name of Skycrawler. But after becoming Captain Celebrity's sidekick and looking at a massive amount of debt and impending lawsuits from the result of his fight against number six, he can no longer live in Japan, making New York his new home in the United States. Now, with vigilantes taking place within the five years between the first All Might versus All for One fight and the beginning beginning of My Hero Academia, by the time we get to Deku, Koichi is already in New York, and seeing as the President of the United States made the order to send all of their heroes to Japan, it's safe to say that Koichi and possibly Captain Celebrity will be making their return in My Hero Academia's All Out War arc. Which is super exciting as this will mean not only will Koichi make his first official appearance in the main My Hero Academia series, returning after the events of vigilantes, but that means we'll also see him in the anime at some point down the road. Let me know your thoughts on Koichi being teased to make his big return to the series. Are you excited to see My Hero Academia continue to connect to its wider universe with it now tying into vigilantes a lot more than before? Let me know everything in the comment section below. If you're new to the Kitaroki channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications on to not miss out on any My Hero Academia content. And if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to Detroit smash that like button down below. With that said, I'll see you all in the next one.